Welcome to the second video of the course. I'm glad that you've decided to continue learning. In this video, we will tell you what the digital marketing is, why it is needed and why it is so popular and so important. First of all, let's figure out what a digital marketer does. A digital marketer is a person who helps business owners make more money. Remember the concept of the philosopher's stone which make the elixir of life and turns the stone into the gold? The digital marketer is like a philosopher's stone for business owners, because it helps them make more money. Business owners will always pay those who help them make more money. Now let's look at how marketing works in general. Let's imagine that we sell sneakers. There are five people who know about our product. Two of them bought our sneakers. Now we have the question. How can we make more people know about our sneakers? Because the more people know about the sneakers, the more we can sell. To do that, you have to boost your marketing. Now you see the picture of Nike Air Jordan sneakers and Michael Jordan himself wearing them. People like to feel like stars. That's why they buy all things the celebrities wear. And accordingly, when millions of people saw world-class star Michael Jordan playing in the sneakers, there were a lot more sales of them. It's important to understand that Michael Jordan is a marketing tool to grab attention and boost sales. That is, the more people see the sneakers thanks to Michael Jordan, the more sales will be. So I strongly recommend you to remember the most important formula in marketing. Attention equals money. The more attention, the more money. But if you aren't Nike and you can't pay Michael Jordan millions for advertising, what to do in this case? And that's why the skill of digital marketing is so popular and in demand. Today everything is different. Thanks to social media like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Google, YouTube and other digital platforms, you can reach out to every person on the planet. Also, social networks has given companies with any budget a chance to advertise. Even if you spend $50 per month on advertising. 30 years ago, only big brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Nike and so on could advertise. Today, 2 billion people spend on average 5-6 hours a day on the internet through their smartphones and computers. And that's a lot of attention. And where there is attention, there are always business owners who want to get that attention to sell their products and services. But on the other hand, today it is very hard to get people's attention in order to sell a product. And the one who knows how to convert attention into sales better than anyone else is the winner. On the picture you see something like a conveyor belt, where on the left there is attention. The conveyor belt is digital marketing, and the money comes out of this conveyor belt. That's it. Digital marketing converts attention into money. And a digital marketer is a person who knows how to attract and convert attention to sales on the internet. Now, you see why are digital marketers so in demand? Let me show you a bit of numbers. According to Statista, there are 333.34 million companies in the world today. And that number keeps growing, because the world's population is also growing. So there will be much more businesses. Also, nowadays it's much easier to start your own business than it was 20 or 30 years ago. Previously, you needed the initial capital to build a factory or open a restaurant. Today, you can start your own online business without money. According to Facebook public report for investors, 200 million businesses buy ads on Facebook and Google. That is a huge number of people who already advertise online. You can read the report here. According to LinkedIn, there are 15 million digital marketers in the world today. You would think that's a huge number of people who are already doing digital marketing and you can't find a job in that niche, but that is one of the biggest misconceptions. The demand for digital marketers is much higher than you think. There are 333 million businesses in the world that need promotion, but there are only 15 million digital marketers. Only one marketer per 22 companies. 
the digital marketing industry is growing, so everyone will find a job in this niche. As Bill Gates said, if your business is not on the internet, then your business will be out of business. And that's why we see two big trends right now. First, the offline businesses are now going online. And these offline businesses don't know how to attract customers on the internet. So they need people who know how to do that. They need digital marketers. And the second big trend is that online businesses are competing with each other on the internet. For example, you have an online store and I have an online store. You are a bad marketer, but I am a good marketer. I will have more sales because I work more effectively with digital marketing tools than you do. Therefore, there is a demand for better professionals who are able to work better than competitors with the marketing tools on the internet. Why is this trend growing? On the picture, you see the growth in revenue of Google and Meta. The last owns Facebook and Instagram. We see that Meta has 5 billion in revenue in 2010 and now it has 125 billion. Google had revenue of $29.3 billion in 2010 and now it's $256.74 billion. What do Google and Meta sell? They sell advertising. That's it, businesses buy ads on Facebook and Google more and more. Who runs Facebook and Google ads? You're right, digital marketers. The revenue growth of Google and Meta is equivalent to the demand for digital marketers. The more revenue these companies have, the greater the demand for marketers who manage ads budgets. And here it is important to understand that the demand for digital marketers will only grow. As long as Facebook and Google exist, so long will demand for digital marketing exist. What's the chance of Facebook and Google going bankrupt? Too big to fail. Another big trend is cost per click. Let's look at the diagram. Across industries, a click costs from $1 to $3. According to WordStream, the average cost per click on Facebook is $1.7. In 2010, the cost per click was only $0.1. That's it, it was 20 times cheaper than now. What does it mean? The competition for attention is growing and businesses need people who can help get attention more effectively and cheaper on the internet. 20 years ago, you could start a business without ads and succeed. Now it's impossible. It's the same with the Instagram. The time when you could get 100,000 subscribers for free is over. Today, if you just create your website or start an Instagram account, no one will know about you. You need to be able to promote yourself on the internet. That's what marketers do. That's why they are so needed. Now let's look at how a marketer can work. There are three formats. The first is in-house specialist. Imagine that you work for a company that, for example, sells furniture. This company has an online store. So you get a job with that company as a full-time marketer who help run ads for that online store. The second option is freelance. You have several clients, for example, one is an online furniture store, another is an influencer blogger on Instagram who help you get new subscribers, and the third client is an online dog food store. And the third option is when you are a digital marketing agency owner. You open your agency, attract a lot of clients, hire other marketers and provide complex services. I will tell you how it works in the next videos. Let us now compare all these types, pros and cons. So, let's first talk about pros of working as an in-house marketer. You can learn just one skill, like Facebook ads or some other, and you can be a specialist in that field and make money. Another good point is the stability, since you work for the company. You don't need to look for clients, because you get a job once and you get a salary. Another benefit is that you work remotely. The first drawback, you have a boss and you may dislike him. The second, salary and bonuses. You will have some kind of fixed salary that has a limit. Next one is freelancer. On the positive side, you can also learn just one skill. 
Another advantage, the earnings only depends on you. You also can work remotely and you are your own boss. But the cons are that you have to look for customers yourself. You need to know how to sell your services. And if you are not good at looking for clients, you are not going to have stability. The next is marketing agency owner. Here are a lot of pros too. You don't do it yourself, you delegate your task. You're your own boss. You earn more and you can work remotely. Of the cons, you need to have many skills. How to find clients, how to do everything related to digital marketing, how to sell. It's responsibility because you get employees who need to be paid. So you need to know how to get a lot of clients all the time. If a freelancer can find 3-4 clients a month and it will be more than enough, the marketing agency needs 20 or 30 clients every month. Now let's talk about salaries. According to Indeed, the average salary of a marketer in the United States is $90,160,000 a year. But I want to point out that this salary is in the United States and of course in other countries it is less. But you can work remotely for American or European companies if your skills allow you to do it. If you are a chief marketing officer, a head of marketing, then according to pay scale, your salary is $175,000 a year and can be even higher, for example. The head of marketing at Apple earns a lot of money. It all depends on your career building skills. A freelancer's salary can be from $1,000 to $25,000 a month. Again, it depends on your skills and the clients you work with, and also how many hours you work per day. On a freelance website Upwork, we can see that someone can make $20 an hour, someone makes $45 and someone makes $200 an hour, but we see they've already made $700,000 on Upwork. So the prices for freelance services can vary, it's just a question of how much time you are ready to spend on it. For example, you can work at your main job and freelancing for marketing is just your extra income. So you can make a little money here. But if you are a good professional, you can make an unlimited amount of money. I also want to say a very important thing. $5,000 in New York or $5,000 in Bali or other warm countries is a different money. The average salary in New York is a high-level life in Bali. But the problem is a person works offline in big cities and is tied to the place of work. Such people have to live in the city where they work. And if you are a digital marketer, you can work for some company and get an average salary of a metropolis and still spend that money in other parts of your country or other countries that you like. This way, you can get a higher standard of living for the same money. If we look at the career path, first it's college or your current job, then you start freelancing, then you can work in-house. And then you have a choice to become a C-level manager when you become a head of marketing or chief of marketing office or you open your own agency. We'll talk about the career path in more detail in the following videos. Now let's summarize why marketers are in demand. Google and Facebook revenue is growing, which means the marketing industry is growing too, and so does the demand for it. And that means there will always be a demand for marketers. Cost per click is growing, which means businesses need people who know how to run ads effectively and get customers cheaper than competitors. If you are not online, your business is dead. That's why all businesses will continue to go from offline to online. If you think everyone is already online, they are not. Look closely. Most businesses are still offline. The world has adapted to remote work. 20 years ago, it was unimaginable that you could live in another country and work remotely, but today it's our reality. You have several directions. You can be an employee of a company, you can be a freelancer, and you can open your own business or a marketing agency. It all depends on you and your ambitions. Businesses will always pay those who bring them more money, and the digital marketer makes sure that the businesses has more sales. Digital marketing is the ability to draw attention and sell. Our whole life is sales and marketing. You are the product and you need to know how to sell it. 
In fact, the ability to sell yourself is a useful skill in any case. In the next video we will talk about how marketing works. See you later!